I've wept for those who suffer long But how I weep for those who've gone In rooms of grief and question wrong But keep on killing It's in the soul to feel such things But weak to watch without speaking Oh, what mercy sadness brings If God be willing There is a train That's heading straight To heaven's gate To heaven's gate And on the way Child and man And woman wait Watch and wait For Redemption Day Fire rages in the streets And swallows everything it meets It's just an image often seen On television Come leaders, come ye men of great Let us hear you pontificate Your many virtues laid to waste And we aren't listening There is a train That's heading straight To heaven's gate To heaven's gate And on the way, child and man, and woman way. What do you As we have all know, for us today? the moon orbits the Earth and the Earth orbits the sun. And well, celestial mechanics the allows us to calculate these orbits with great precision. When the moon passes between the Earth and the sun, we say that the moon is in the new phase. An eclipse of the sun can only occur when the moon is new. However, not all new moons produce a solar eclipse. The moon's orbit around the Earth is tilted about five degrees to the plane of the Earth's orbit around the sun. As a result, the moon spends most of its time either above or below the Earth's orbital plane. The moon passes through the plane only twice during each of its orbits. If the moon also happens to be in the new moon phase when it crosses Earth's orbital plane, then a solar eclipse will occur. Most eclipses are partial because new moon takes place just before or after the moon crosses the orbital plane. But if the timing is right, a total eclipse of the sun occurs just as the center of the moon passes directly in front of the center of the sun. The path that the moon shadow makes over the Earth during a total eclipse is called the path of totality. To see a total eclipse, you must be in the path of totality. It's everywhere.
a week it's been. I don't know about you, I was on pins and needles the entire time. Hello, and good evening. I'm your host, Mike Michelson, and welcome to True Talk, our forum for issues growing out of the show. But tonight, something very special indeed. A rare and exclusive interview with the show's conceiver and creator. So, come with us now as we go live to the Lunar Room on the 221st floor of the Omnicam Ecosphere. That's where we'll find the world's greatest televisionary, the designer and architect of the world within a world that is Sea Haven Island, Crystal. Before we begin, I'd like to thank you on behalf of our audience for granting this exclusive interview. We know how demanding your schedule is, and we all know how jealously you guard your privacy. This, sir, is indeed an honor. Don't mention it. Well, the catalyst for the recent dramatic events on the show has been, of course, Truman's father, Kirk, and his attempts to infiltrate the show. But before we get into that, I think it's worth noting that this is not the first time that someone from the outside has attempted to reach Truman, is it? We have had our close calls in the past. Truman! Oh. It's television! Yes! Yes! I did it! Uh -huh. On the Truman Show! But there's never been anything to compare with uh, this most recent breach in security, the, the first intruder to be a former cast member. A dead one at that. Gotta say, writing Kirk back in, Master Stroke. Since Kirk started this whole crisis in Truman's life, I came to the conclusion that he was the only one who could end it. Truman! Truman! No! That's off limits! What? What's over there? Nothing. It's dangerous, that's all. You've got to know your limitations, Truman. But let's remind viewers of exactly why Dad was written out in the first place. As Truman grew up, we were forced to manufacture ways to keep him on the island. I like to be an explorer. Like the Great Magellan. Oh, well, you're too late. There's really nothing left to explore. Finally, I came up with a concept of Kirk's drowning. Most of it. Truman's been terrified of the water ever since. When Kirk read the synopsis for the Death at Sea episode, he was disappointed, to say the least. And I'm sure that's what caused him to break back onto the set. But how do you intend to explain his 22-year absence? Amnesia. Brilliant. Right. Christoph, let me ask you, why do you think that uh, Truman has never come close to discovering the true nature of his world until now? We accept the reality of the world with which we're presented. It's as simple as that. The Hague for Christoph. Hello. The Hague. All right, we've lost that call. Let's go to Hollywood, California. You're on True Talk. Hi, Christoph. I'd just like to say one thing. You're a liar and a manipulator, and what you've done to Truman is sick. Well, we remember this voice, don't we? How could we forget? Uh, let's go to another call. What no, 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 no. It's, fi it's, it's fine, Mike. I love to reminisce with former members of the cast. Sylvia, you announced so melodramatically world. Is it because you batted your eyes and you flirted with him, stole a few minutes of air time with him, you thrust yourself into politics into the mind you know that you know what's right for him? You really think you're in a position to judge him? What right do you have to take a baby and, and, and turn his life into some kind of mockery? Do you have to feel guilty? I have given to him a chance to the world, the place you live, the sick place. He hates me. He's not a performer. He's a prisoner. Look at him. Look at what you've done to him. He could leave at any time. If his was more than just a vague ambition, he was absolutely determined to discover the truth. There's no way we could prevent it. What stresses you, really, caller, that ultimately, human prefers the cell, as you call it. Return. On the 25th anniversary of the event, in 1994, Neil Armstrong made a rare public appearance and held back tears as he spoke these brief cryptic remarks before the next generation of taxpayers as they toured the White House. Today we have with us uh, a group of students among America's best. To you we say 
we have only completed a beginning. We leave you much that is undone. There are great ideas undiscovered, breakthroughs available to those who can remove one of truth's protective layers.